Footballers, Coach Tad here, and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things to do in the whole world, which is making comics and drawing. And one of my favorite things about making comics is you don't have to be the greatest artist in the whole world to start making comics and telling stories. You can make comics with little stick men and tell amazing fun stories with them. But today, I'm going to tell you one of the cartooning superpowers that'll make your stick men come to life. Do you want to know what it is? Okay, give me a big drum roll. The cartooning superpower is line. What? No, not lion like roar, lion. Line like a line on a piece of paper. Here, I'll show you what you mean. Let's head to my art desk. Okay, so here we have a little stick man. He's got two little dots for eyes, a circle for a nose, a little line for a mouth, circle for a head. Now, if we want to make our little stick man angry, all we have to do is add two lines, just little lines like this. I'm gonna put one line over here and one line over here. Now, look, he's really angry. And if we wanna make him even angrier, we can add a couple more lines under his eyes like this. Now he's even angrier. If we wanna make him even angrier, we can make his mouth open like this. And what happens when you're angry? Do you show your teeth? Sometimes. So we'll give him some teeth. Now he's even angrier. If you want to make him even angrier, we could add some more lines like here. And maybe, maybe here's some ears for him. Maybe there's steam coming out of his ears. Just like that. Or maybe, what happens when you're, when you get angry? Your cheeks, they turn a certain color sometimes if you're really angry. Maybe we can add some red. <gasps> now he's even angrier. What if we had fire coming out of his head? <sighs> oh my goodness. Now this little guy is super angry. Is, and isn't that crazy? We started with just a little circle with a couple dots just like that. And just by adding some lines, we made him really, really angry. And here, we should put his hands on his hips because he's really angry. He's like, hmm, I'm mad. Just like that. Now, it doesn't just work with making our stickmen angry. We can also make them happy or surprised or scared by adding some more lines. Let's try that. Okay, so we've got three more little stickmen face. Let's make this guy really, really happy. So we're gonna give his mouth a big smile, make him so happy, we're gonna open up his mouth like that. And maybe we can see his tongue over here. And then all over here, I'm gonna color that in with black so it really sticks out. And maybe we can make him even happier. We can put his eyebrows up like that. Maybe some more lines under here. And now he's super happy. What about this one? Let's make this one really sad. So we're gonna start, oh, now he's sad. Maybe another couple lines, oh, really sad. Another couple lines, oh, really sad. Maybe a little tear, oh, just like that. He's sad because this guy ate all of the potatoes, oh. And what about this one? Let's make this guy Ristic guy make him really oh, surprised or really scared. Okay, so when you're surprised, maybe we'll make his mouth like a oh, oh man, and maybe his eyebrows are whoo, really high up, and maybe we can add some more lines on the side like that, and we can add some lines to the side. Whoa, he's super surprised. So Again, these are just little stick men, but by adding some lines, we change the way that they felt. And we can use this to tell stories with our comics. Okay, that is really fun. But now we need a book to tell our stories in. So parents, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a little mini book template for your kids to draw in. So what you're gonna need is a single sheet of paper, and I want you to fold it in half just like so, okay? Once you fold it in half, we're gonna flip it over and fold it in half again, just like that. 
Then we're gonna flip it over and fold it in half again. Kids, this is gonna be the toughest fold, but now we're done folding. Then if you open it up, you should see you have eight segments on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what we're gonna do is make a little cut right in the middle over here. So the easiest way I found to do it is just fold it in half again. Um, kids, make sure you get your parents to grab a scissors. And parents, we're just gonna make a little cut right in the middle over here. And if you did it properly, when you open it up, it should be kind of like a little mask like that. Now this is the trickiest part, the, the last fold. Okay, so you're gonna take it and fold it lengthwise again, grab the ends, and it's gonna kind of make like an accordion when you squish it together. So you're gonna squish it together like that, so it kind of looks like that. And then you're gonna take the ends, fold them together, and fold them again across like that. This part took me a long time to figure out. So when you open it up, you've got an eight page little booklet, just like that, that you can make your comics in. So that's really fun. Now, one more thing I wanna do for you kids, I wanna draw you a picture. And let's see if you can guess who I'm gonna draw. It's a superhero. And they're really big. And they're really strong. And they're really green. <gasps> do you know who it is? Let's see. And there you have it, our drawing, you guessed it, Kermit the Frog. Just kidding, the Hulk, that's right. All right, sportballers, hope you have a wonderful day. If you do some drawings, make some comics, I'd love to see them. If you want to share them, post them in the comments. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Lammy, what are you, what are you drawing? Oh, ah, ah. <clears throat>